Hello guys, my name is Akash and you're watching Java for you, Edu and Tech. Yes guys, the topic I am going to cover today is the blocks of code. That is the Java blocks of code. It is a very interesting topic and at the same time it is a very important topic as well. And mostly you will see that it is used uh, when you will be using the for and the if loops. So let's begin guys. So our topic for today is using the uh, blocks of code. Um, yes, you might be wondering what blocks of code is, but it's a very interesting topic. So please watch till the end so that you will get to know the each and every point what I'm going to tell you. Uh, so to begin with, I don't have much in my slides. I'll just uh, directly go to the uh, Eclipse and I will just uh, show you a, a small example so that you will understand what I'm trying to tell you and uh, what exactly blocks of code is. Uh, so in brief, Java allows uh, two or more block statements to be grouped in blocks of code. For example, uh, if X is less than Y, okay, open uh, curly braces, X is equal to Y, Y is equal to zero and close curly braces. So this, whatever we have, in this curly braces is the block of code. Uh, yes, Java allows two or more statements to be grouped in a block of code, also called as code blocks. This is done by enclosing the statements between opening and the closing curly braces. Once a block of code has been created, it becomes a logical unit that can be used uh, any uh, I mean a place that a single statement can. For example, a block of code can be a target for Java's if and for statement that is uh, you will find uh, the block of code mostly in the if and the for statement so that uh, uh, concentrate guys because you you already know that if and for is very uh, is how much important in the programming um, yeah so um, if x is less than y then both the statements inside the block will be executed okay uh, thus the two statements inside the block form a logical unit and one statement cannot execute without the other also executing that is the key point here is that whenever you need to logically uh, link two or more statements you do not you do so by creating a block of code uh, let's look at another example I will uh, directly take you to Eclipse and I will just show you the example so that you will get to know mm, okay so let's go to Eclipse now mm, sorry Okay, so here let's uh, go here. We'll create a new. We'll create a new class. Okay, go to new class. We'll name that class as block test. Okay, block P L O C K block and so finish as always you can see here you have the package variables and public class block test so before we start we'll take public static void main okay so public static st static void main okay here capital S string starring string and a r g s okay so open and close the curly brace this is for the main body so in our next line we'll declare int x comma y then what we'll do is we'll assign some value y is equal to 20 okay so we'll go to the next line um so we'll take for loop here okay for x is equals to 0 x is less than 10 x plus plus okay so you can see a red mark here that is exception but now you can see it's gone that is i'm going to take the block of code so the target of this loop is this block that is for x is equal to zero that is x is less than 10 x plus plus 
so let's print two statements here that is system dot out dot print ln so what will print here is this is x this is x okay mm, this is x plus x okay this is x plus x then we'll go sys out this is y this is y okay plus y so we have printed two statements here and uh, what i will do is after this i will take y is equal to y minus 2 okay yeah i know you are wondering that what all i am taking we'll just complete the program we'll execute it let's see the output then i will go on explaining you how we got that output so uh, here we have taken public static void main i have declared int x and y then i have assigned y is equal to 20 then we have taken for loop x is equal to 0 x is less than 10 x plus plus and then we have taken uh, sys out that is system out or print ln this is x plus x that is to append the both the values and next we have taken is system dot out dot print ln this is y uh, in double quotes plus y this is to append y and later on we have taken y is equal to y minus 2 let's run this program okay go to run and run here and uh, select uh, yeah it's taking time let's wait for it okay guys so hmm, building pre i don't know what's happening anyways okay so you can see here that this is y is how much 12 and uh, and this is x is 5 12 10 oh there is some mistake i guess uh, let's see So in this case, the target for the for loop is a block of code and not just a single statement. Thus, each time the loop iterates three statements inside the block will be executed. Okay, the three statements are uh, this one, second one is this and third one is this. I mean, uh, okay. This is a fact, of course, evidenced by the output generated by the program. So as you will see later in my videos, blocks of code have additional properties and uses. However, the main reason for their existence is to create logically inseparable units of code. And uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. So main intention of uh, uh, this uh, session was the block of code. Bla block of code is very important. I will cover in detail in my upcoming videos. It is just for you to get acquainted so that we'll, you can use that in your programs. Uh, so block block of code is nothing but just keep in mind that whatever uh, it uh, we have in the curly braces is one block of code and it's mostly used in if and the for loops okay so like uh, we have taken here for condition and open braces close braces and this is the block of code and suppose if i uh, declare a variable here okay suppose uh, like uh, if see you can see here y is equal to 20 and uh, yeah, this is common like uh, for example i will declare here int z okay but if i try to assign some value to this z equal to 10 you will get an exception what is that z cannot be resolved to variable because this int z is only available for this block of code so guys i guess you got the example and what i am trying to explain you in this video uh, so i guess you found this video informative and interesting so before we end up okay before uh, i wind up this video i will i would like to tell you don't uh, 
forget to like subscribe comment and share before that i would like to tell you that keep practicing because practice makes man perfect and keep smiling thank you guys let's meet our uh, let's meet up in our next video till then have a nice day bye bye